and uh, welcome uh, to another uh, video and another location. I'm delighted to be able to stand in this particular part of our uh, uh, business and bring you up to speed on what I know is of a great deal of interest to uh, everyone here. Another video means yet another acronym and the acronym this month is BMP. That's the Babco Modernization Program. You will have heard of this called variously in the past, the refinery master plan, the refinery um, modernization plan, uh, or whatever. We have decided because of the importance to the whole of Babco that we will call this the Babco modernization plan because it encompasses not only physical assets like the stuff that you see behind me here, but it will also uh, mean a modernization of uh, our upstream business and our marketing business and all the other components that go into making uh, our business successful in the years ahead. The earliest part of the modernization program has been the pipeline from uh, Saudi Arabia. That uh, is very well advanced, I'm pleased to tell you. The uh, front-end engineering design, so-called FEED, is 70% complete and in the last quarter of this year we'll be going out for EPC bids and we hope to be able to make that uh, EPC uh, award in the first quarter of uh, 2013. As far as the uh, refining element goes, uh, phase one of our chip dip process is almost complete and we will be signing that off very early in October. It has changed since uh, I put it into recycle. We will be retaining uh, some of the old plant uh, for a crude unit, for example, will stay with us. The new plant, initially, the first phase, will be something in the order of 330,000 barrels a day, and it will be a staged investment uh, going forward. We still have some uh, important decisions to make uh, around about the uh, FCC. We need to uh, work with the government on uh, looking at uh, gasoline specifications and the desirability of importing uh, gasoline components for um, our, our, our future gasoline business here in the kingdom. The second uh, important thing that we need to decide at this stage is our joint venture partnership agreements. In the first, uh, before we went into recycle, we were talking about a 450,000 barrel a day uh, plant with, with a lot of intensive capital spend. And that was coming out somewhere north of nine or $10 billion. We now think that with the uh, recycle plan, this is going to be a much more manageable sum of money for the Kingdom of Bahrain. And perhaps the need for a joint venture partner is lessened. Uh, that would be good news for everybody concerned. It means that Bahrain, Babco, would hold on entirely to, the, to w w whatever we, we end up with and would be a much more manageable process going forward. So with uh, phase one behind us, from the beginning of October, we'll move into phase two. This is gonna be a change in direction from where we've been in phase one. We'll be looking at trying to confirm uh, our funding strategy uh, going forward, and that will take a great deal of work with, uh, with Noga Holding, with Noga, and with the Ministry of Finance. The second part uh, will be the appointment of a project management contractor. The scale of the modernization program we're going into is, will be an order of magnitude greater than anything that Babco has done in the past and we certainly can't manage it ourselves so we will be looking uh, for a project management contractor and we have uh, gone out to I think about eight world-class people in this field and we will be talking with them and interviewing them and we hope to make that uh, appointment in the last quarter of this year. Going forward we will begin with uh, the off-sites and utilities plan, 
and then we'll start looking at the new uh, CDU, VDU and the uh, retention of the, uh, the old units, uh, revamping of the old units as we go forward. After that we'll look at the hydrocracking complex and finally the LC finer and the delayed coker. This is about the order we anticipate that they will come on stream, although that's quite hasn't quite been decided yet. It will depend on our cash flow projection. But we anticipate that the first units will be coming online towards the end of 2016 or early 2017. And again, this is earlier than our first plan had anticipated. So this is good news uh, for everybody concerned. And these are very exciting times. Uh, and uh, these decisions that, that we are taking, we are making at the present time, I get lots of people who stop me and say, when, when, when will this happen? These decisions are not time driven. We have to invest a lot of time to get it right up front before we start spending money. It would be a terrible mistake to rush these things and find that after a year of hard work and of spending many, many hundreds of millions of dollars that we don't have the right plan in place and we've got to go back. So it is very well worthwhile to spend the time right now in, uh, in the second half of 2012 and the first half of 2013 in getting these decisions right. Finally, and I think I've probably said this before on some of these previous uh, uh, video shoots that we've done, this is a Babco modernization plan. This doesn't mean new plant pipes, compressors, pumps, instrumentation. This means reinventing the way we do all our business processes, the way we do our HR, the way we do our recruitment, our promotion, our succession planning, the way we do procurement, marketing, uh, especially we, we will be marketing at the end of this uh, uh, almost twice as much as we do at the moment and we really re need to rethink how we are going to go out into that great big world and compete with the people in this area for our uh, share of the market. When that is complete, uh, towards the middle of next year, then we will continue revising our plan because we want to think about how we get from the 330 I've described, how we get to 450 and perhaps beyond that, and how we integrate petrochemicals into our modernization program going forward. As I said, very, very exciting times. Everybody has a part to play. Everyone has a question to ask. Everyone has a right to ask those questions. So please contact the core working team and uh, give them your, your suggestions, your constructive suggestions, and ask questions. Asking questions is good because it stimulates uh, a, a, a lot of discussion and no one has a monopoly on the right answers. So I look forward to working with all of you through the, the, uh, the latter half uh, of this year and the first half of next year in putting this whole uh, modernization program together. Thanks very much. Thank you.